this video is going to be warning against or caution kind of a warning caution against study bibles now i'm not saying you just can't use them i'm just saying have some caution and there's some i honestly think to be honest um for the most part i think um, most people would be better off without a study bible and why do i say that because the footnotes have stuff that is contrary to scripture I'm just saying, so what study Bibles would I say, like warn, caution kind of thing, like, well, the Ruckman study Bible, the common man reference Bible, um, even the Henry Morris defender study Bible, even the Rock of Ages study Bible, and three out of four of those I had or have. Uh, right now I'm using the Rock of Ages study Bible and some of the notes do help. But the thing is they teach a, like a pre-trib uh, rapture and with that comes some, you know, a teaching that I don't agree with. And with that, some other things. And the common man reference Bible, I just I just tossed out, and some people didn't like that. But I mean, if you have something that you feel convicted of, I mean, I thought, well, what if someone sees that and they get it? And I don't agree with it, so I don't have all my books sorted. But because you know, when you get a lot of books, well, <laughs> it, keep it simple. But I did have a children's study Bible that I used for myself. It was colorful. But then even that was probably better than the other study Bibles I just mentioned because they kept it simple. But they had one thing like uh, about Sodom and Gomorrah that in the study note I didn't agree with. Um, and then there was another thing like something about like, you know, the, you know, I believe it, you know, Bible teaches baptism by immersion, you know, going fully in water and that it should be for believers. I'm not for like the infant baptism and this children's study Bible was talking about infant baptism like as a dedication thing, but just, you know, warning against that. So I bought uh, one more study Bible. I know I don't know, probably wondering why, but it was for um, my niece and I guess it was just made in 2020. It, looked, it looks pretty good. I looked at it. Um, it's called, uh, what is it called? I can make a video uh, later about it, but you know, I guess uh, that one seems okay so far. But, um, like I said, even though I like the rock of ages study Bible, I can't, I wouldn't recommend it to someone. And why is that? Because then they're going to believe in the pre-trib rapture. And then what happens is some people get into, let's say the Schofield Bible too. That has notes that aren't true. And even someone said that, oh, you know, a lot of times if you're in church, they say, get out your Schofield Bible. And then, um, but then some of it's not true. And then I even heard someone say, like, uh, when they're preaching, oh, you see the Schofield note? Just cross that one off. That That's not true. Well, if it's going against scripture, then, you know, why, you know, uh, like promote it in the church? You shouldn't be really. I mean, like in this case, like I'm not like saying I'm a hundred percent against them. I mean, if some of the some of the notes do help, but why I wouldn't recommend like uh, like even like the Rock of Ages or the Henry Morris one, because I don't want to get people mixed up into like the pre-trib rapture teaching, you know. And they all do. And I, you know, I have so many books here, and you know, I I don't know much about you know. And then I have this uh, Liberty Bible commentary in the New Testament and they're promoting like the, you know, rapture and stuff. And um, with the Henry Morris Bible, or w which I don't want to say because, okay, well, I could say it. maybe Henry Morris Bible or this Liberty Bible, the, the uh, study comment, they were saying the rapture means <laughs> like the falling away, which could not be any uh, farther from the truth because I mean either you have the truth or you don't but I mean I now really want to know which one it was but 
I don't know, one of them was, and you know, I hope it wasn't the, you hope it wasn't the Henry Morris Bible, but I think it might have been that one, where they're saying, um, I can turn to it real quick. So Second Thessalonians, you know where I'm going, um, chapter two here. And so I can't recommend. I'll show you again, maybe if I can get that video out. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, this is why I don't. This is why I have to warn about the study Bibles. I'm getting kind of worked up here. But in the Henry Morris Bible, again, I probably like some of the notes. But then, even if you go to like the Hoffman Study Bible and like a Thomas Nelson Study Bible or whatever, they're gonna have the same thing. And one more thing, I want to say: these maps where they have like where the uh, Hebrews crossed the Red Sea, I don't think it's accurate. So anyway, the falling away for the Henry Morris Bible says that um, this is actually, yeah, they say it's meaning away from. It should be. See, some of these study Bibles try to correct the Word of God. And then in the Henry Morris Bible, he's got in two, uh, chapter 2, verse 3, it's, um, uh, instead, you know, the falling away here, he says it should be translated away from. Okay? Uh, why? It says uh, falling away, not away from. But this is why. He says stasis, and this is his opinion, meaning standing, could be rendered. So he says away from stasis or whatever, meaning standing, it could be rendered standing away instead of falling away. And then then he goes on to say that in context, it appears the rapture is standing away from the earth, standing away from, returning to the Lord. So this is saying that it's going to be like he's saying like it's the rapture here, the standing away. That's just, that's not what it says. This is falling away. And then Henry Morris changes it to uh, standing away. And it says, oh, this is the rapture. And that's why people get confused because of these study Bibles. And then, you know, it gets taught in uh, other books like Larkin's uh, charts or the Schofield Bible. And then it gets taught in the Baptist schools and that's and it's even in the Rock of Ages Bible. So you know, as much as I like some of the notes in the Rock of, I got it right in front of me. As much as I like some of the notes and it's helpful, the Rock of Ages. At the end of the day, I wouldn't want to give it to someone because what's going to happen? Well, they might, you know, if they're studying the Word of God, they're going to look. Okay, what does it say about the Rapture? And then it's the same thing. And there's some other things. And I don't know. Hopefully, that children's Bible is going to be okay. You know, if my niece reads it, but I can show it to you maybe later in a different video. But so this just been a warning against study Bibles. I know last time I posted it wasn't popular, but it, you know, even like the common man reference Bible, I tossed that one out because I didn't like the notes, you know? So, I mean, that's just it. I mean, honestly, if, uh, for the most part, you know, unless the Bible has like, like, like the children Bible study Bible, it's just giving like, you know, trying to explain it to the children, some of the stuff and but then uh you got to be careful there too but when you get into these study bibles for the adults then they start you know putting in their own opinion or trying to change the text or you know trying to teach you something that maybe isn't that trying to teach you stuff that's not in the bible and the one thing with the ch child's bible that i bought again they have the maps in the back so the notes so far seem good but then the map they have showing where the hebrews crossed the red sea is inaccurate i don't think so i mean even there you got to be careful so just saying but and so all right